What's up everybody, 915man here, out here enjoying the nice weather, hope you guys have been doing good, just check it out, nature, mother nature is, just does a great job of keeping things clean and natural, and uh, it's kind of going to be the same thing about using an algae turf scrubber, and an algae turf scrubber is a natural way to keep your aquarium clean, uh, it uses the algae turf to suck up all those nutrients and guess what that's what this video is going to be about it's going to be about a Santa Monica algae turf scrubber this is the rain 4 which is pretty cool uh, it's the larger version of the rain 2 I've been messing with around with algae turf scrubbers for quite a while and uh, this one I didn't pay for it I got it from Santa Monica filtration they sent it out to me and I just want to do an unboxing to see so you guys can see what's up, see if you're interested, and then follow along because I'm going to make this a series. I'm also going to be giving you an update of the 150 gallon. As I mentioned before, I've most definitely been messing around with the algae turf scrubber since the beginning of my reefing uh, experience when I got into the hobby. Um, but you can most definitely do a DIY algae turf scrubber yourself. Um, I have done the DIY a couple of times actually like this one uh the reason i stopped doing the diy is because of the mess that i made with the salt spray um the waterfall type scrubbers they do make a mess and as you notice this one comes up with a hood so that way you can go ahead and uh, minimize that salt spray the important thing about an algae turf scrubber is the screen the screen has to be really roughed up because the algae needs to go ahead and grab onto it this one comes with six Gem 5 lights. Uh, they're already mounted inside of the light hood with uh, two power supplies. So let's say uh, one power supply fails, you still got enough with the other power supply to go ahead and uh, run the lights. The good thing about it, it does come with the warranty. The warranty is good for repairs and replacements, no refunds. And that's the uh, six lights that I'm talking about. When you do it, you don't want to start off full blast. Uh, to be honest with you guys, I'm probably going to start off full blast. Like I said, I had the um, other scrubber and it did good. I didn't follow directions at all and my stuff still took off. If you're the type of person that likes to feed your fish, your aquarium, you like to feed your corals a lot, a scrubber is a pretty good addition um, because it allows you to feed four frozen cubes per day. That's a lot of frozen cubes per day. Um, Personally, I'll feed one cube per day, if that. You can do 40 pinches of flake food per day. That's a lot of pinches of uh, food, if you ask me. And it has 40 square inches of you of nori per day that you could actually feed your aquarium. Uh, like I said, that's a lot. And if you feed a lot of pellet food, you could do 0.4 um, pellet food per day. This is my second... Algae turf scrubber from Santa Monica Filtration. The other scrubber that I had was a Surf uh, 4 or Surf 2. And I had that on a 180. Uh, it did really well. Um, but I did complain because I didn't think it was doing enough. Because I was having uh, green hair algae. But this one being the Rain 4. It's going to be more than enough in my opinion. We're going we're gonna to see how well it does. But I think it's going to do really well. This is the platform comes with all the PVC pipes and uh, it's actually I don't have to do any kind of crazy uh, platforms for it. it already came with it so I just gonna set it up and hook up a uh, pump to it now it doesn't come with the pump but it does uh, have a suggested flow that you need to use I need to use a bare minimum of 200 gallons per hour pump but a recommended of 300 gallons per hour pump um, I'm going to go probably with the DC pump or see if I can go ahead and uh, plug it into my manifold. Uh, the Where it gets connected, it is uh, three-quarter, um, so go from there. I'm also going to pit a uh, one-inch bulkhead because I want it to be a little bit quiet. I'm going to ins insert some uh, PVC. I'm going to do another video when I actually set it up, but as you can see, this has a like double screen, so I, this is going to be a lot of green hair algae, turf algae growing on this screen once it's set up. Um, 
and I'm really excited to use it. I just need to get the pump to get it going. Just remove the cap and then slide out the screen. Go ahead and scrub down some of this turf with like a card or something like that. And I'll be good to go. Now let's go ahead and get into the Cora update. I did bring home some frags. I got I went to my LFS, the Coral Reef. Um, he had some nice Zoas that I was peeping, checking out. For all you SPS lovers out there, I was able to get some. Uh, I got this nice piece of uh, strawberry shortcake from my buddy Alan at the Coral Reef. Another thing when uh, talking to him, I've been talking about keeping my tank more stable. And so what I've been doing is dosing. I've been using my Reef Breeders doser. I am at 60 ml of alkalinity and calcium. The magnesium I haven't had to dose at all yet. Uh, it's at a good level. Uh, but the thing is my alkalinity has been staying at 7. And uh, I'm not trying to raise it up to 8 overnight. It's a slow steady process. And I'll get there. What I have been doing is testing. And I'm using the NIOS test kits. For alkalinity and I'll show you the guys that in another video but I did want to show you just some of the corals that I picked up that strawberry shortcake right there is some fire and uh, it's looking good I picked up some other zoas right here which I'll show you um, I'm starting to run out of room in the 150 right now I have a bunch of tanks going on right now and I'm gonna give you an update on those later on uh, it's absolutely necessary for me to keep a frag tank uh, because I don't want to keep my uh, 150 just cluttered with the same frags. I, I, they're, they're doing really good and growing in there. So I, I have to have a frag tank. As my tank is maturing, I'm seeing that my corals are doing a lot better. Um, you know, everybody did survive the move, except for the fish when I messed up. But this frog spawn wasn't opening up fully. And this frog spawn is now opening up a lot. And it does actually take up a lot of real estate in my tank. But I love it because it's just so fluffy and big. And it's doing really good. The colors are nice deep greens and deep purples. And it does it complements my tank really well. Um, since I've been dosing, you can see that SPS on the top has like little green tips. Um, and it's, it's a really nice piece. It grows a lot. It's already attaching itself. To the back of the glass like it was doing on the 180 and since dosing my green slimer has got a bunch of new tips right there the miami vice hurricane chalice is doing really well um i think about fragging this sometimes and just you know to kind of share or sell it here locally but uh, i'm just loving the piece right there as you can see you can still see a little bit of the sweeper and if you haven't seen that Coral Warfare video that I did, this Miami Vice chalice right there is deadly. A little bit of that hurricane straight out of the tank from uh, my LFS, the Coral Reef. It's doing good. Good polyp extension. Looks cooler during the day in my opinion. But right here you can see it's doing really well. I'm going to go ahead and end this video and give you a little bit of tunes. I hope you guys have a good one. Like, subscribe, and guys, I just hit that two six thousand mark subscriber. So kick back, enjoy the video, and I hope you guys have a good one.